John Leto, let me come to you first of all. What are you making with it? Yes, well, we're making a variety of products, and the first thing that we're making are incredibly thin, flexible, printed electronics, electronics that can be printed much like newspapers. So I have in my hands here a roll of material that's been printed with our graphene inks, and this is a circuit that you can crush, you can fold, you can put through the washing machine, you can even put it through a clothes dryer, and it maintains its conductive properties. Wow, that, now that, okay, that's very convincing. But what is the market application for that? Why would people who may need that material be buying your stuff rather than something else? Sure, well, I think the, the key really is in the robustness of the material as well as its high performance. So graphene has a unique combination of both very high electrical performance and the robustness that you need to go into unique applications. So when we look at the market for this material, it's in wearable electronics, electronics that you can embed in your clothing seamlessly so you don't even know it's there. Military electronics, robustness is very important. And also in aerospace and marine applications. Since graphene is non-metallic, it doesn't corrode. And that's a huge application in a, or a huge advantage in electronics. And, and John, are you at the theoretical stage on this? I, you know, this is the potential for it. Or are those products, are you selling stuff to the US military? Are you selling clothes with electronics in them? Yes, uh, yes, in fact, we are. Um, and uh, we've moved uh, well beyond the theoretical stage. Um, we originally got our technology from Princeton University back in 2005. And the Ilhan Oxide Labs at Princeton have been really instrumental in developing this technology. We've had the ability to produce graphene on the ton scale since 2007. And the applications first reached the market in late 2010, 2011. So we actually have some applications now that are selling in retail stores. There's a line of anti-theft packaging. So packaging with sensors in it, embedded, uh, hidden in the cardboard itself that detects when the item's trying to be stolen that's being commercialized through the company Mead West Vaco right now in retail stores. Fascinating. And let me bring in David, our, our science editor. I mean, it does seem that the, the potential, you know, in a vast, I mean, we saw your report kind of, you know, it's not just limited to one little thing. It seems to be extraordinary, the scope. I think it is extraordinary. You've not only got potential applications now and in the next few years, principally in the electronics field that we've heard quite a bit about, and you saw that promotional video from Samsung, but there are also potential applications further down the track. And very interestingly, there was a major study into the potential of graphene by a number of specialists from Manchester University, including one of the two Nobel Prize winners, who said that probably if graphene's cost can come down, it may, in the coming decade or two, start to replace established materials like silicon, but that the real excitement about graphene is when people actually invent new uses for it. An extraordinary sense, of, a parallel might be when the mobile phone came into use. No one, the manufacturers hadn't really expected texting to be a big deal, but it became a very big deal. When the internet got going, no one really imagined Facebook but now that's a big deal. So I think that's really where the excitement lies. OK, well, let me just go back to J John. I, I mean, do you sense that excitement? Oh, absolutely. And uh, really, the fields that we're operating in have exploded uh, from electronics to composite materials, making very high-strength plastics and uh, structural materials with it. Um, all the way to new battery technologies, flexible, lightweight, washable, high energy storage capacity batteries. And, how, and are, is the cost of graphene coming down or is it actually rising as people see more and more applications for it and demand goes up? You know, well, uh, the price of graphene on the market is very competitive because it is such a high performance material. It doesn't take much of it uh, to create some of these applications. And so really the cost that the manufacturer sees or that the consumer will see is lower than the existing technology. And that's one of the really, even right now, it's lower than the existing technology. And that's one of the really exciting parts about graphene.